Hi, everybody. I'm going to demonstrate the crank IR. Well, here it is, the Step IR antenna's crank IR. It consists of a 16-foot fiberglass pole that goes up, has a set of spreaders on top. You've seen the photos already. Wire goes up, across the spreaders, and down again with this pulley system. And by cranking the antenna to different lengths, you adjust the resonance. Um, we have a tune button here, which is very, very handy. Let me demonstrate, please. I'll just rotate this around like that. I'll hold this tune button down, key the transmitter, and we see a white LED here. And you see that. Okay, and what I do is I adjust the crank by adjusting the length here, turn the crank, and uh, crank, 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 and right about there the light goes out, and I'm at a 1.1 to 1 SWR. Well, this is a pretty tall antenna that goes up and up and up and up, up, up to the very top, and there's the spreaders. Hey, that's a lot of wire up there, not bad. No, every good vertical has to have a radial system, and the Crank IR has one that is optional. You can, of course, hook a radial system to this post here and a screw, or you could use the optional radial system. It works just like the other side of the vertical. It has a crank, and you turn the crank to resonance. So here it goes. I'm going to turn this crank. You're going to watch that white LED on the other side as you key your transmitter. Turn around, turn around. Here comes the yellow mark, and up. I'm all set for resonance on 17 meters. Well, I've conveniently attached the other end of the radial system to this side. And here we have the pulley system where the wire spools out, comes through, and is adjusted for resonance here. Now, with a portable antenna like this, you really have to consider safety. So I really recommend, and so does the manual, taping up the fiberglass pole section so they can't accidentally slip down. And put some sandbags on the legs of the tripod down here to make sure it really can't accidentally tip over when you have a big gust of wind. Now it's a good idea, somewhere along this line, you might want to like tie a piece of yellow tape here so no one doesn't accidentally walk through it and knock your antenna down.